Hey guys, Snake Slayer here from WildCataclysmNews.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the Warlock mechanics in the early stages of Cataclysm Beta. Again, because of incoming talent revisions not yet implemented in Beta, I will not be going through the detail of talents until they come out. The first thing I want to look at is Curses. Curse of Agony and Curse of Doom have now been changed to Bane of Agony and Bane of Doom. You can only have one Bane up at a time. All of the other curses are about the same and you can only have one curse up at a time as well. However, Curse of Weakness now reduces 10% of physical damage done by the target. The first new spell we're going to look at is called Fell Flame. Fell Flame is an instant spell that deals a decent amount of shadow damage and refreshes an immolate or unstable affliction on the target. There's currently a bug in the beta where UA will not overwrite immolate, so I cast it twice to show you. Now let's look at the pet abilities. Most things haven't changed, however, Fire Shield has been taken away from the Imp talents. And did someone order a plate of overpower? The Succubus gets a new spell called Whiplash. This ability is an instant cast with a 25 second cooldown that does little damage but knocks all enemies back for 8 yards. Locks now start with the Imp at level 1, but they don't get to control it until level 10 when they get the ability Control Demon. So now let's look at the Hellstone and Soulstone changes. Soulstone now brings the player back with 50% health and 30% mana. Hellstone restores 60% of the creator's base health. Now what you've been waiting for, let's look at the Soul Shard use of Soul Burn. Soul Burn is an instant cast with a 30 second cooldown that uses a Soul Shard to make your next spell unique in some way. Only a few spells work with Soul Burn. The first Soul Burn combo we're going to look at is Searing Pain. This increases the crit chance of your next Searing Pain by 100% and increases all subsequent Searing Pain cast by 50% crit for 6 seconds. The next Soul Burn spell we are going to look at is Summoning Pet. After you use Soul Burn, the cast time of summoning a demon is reduced by 100%, making it instant. Now let's look at the Soul Burn with Demonic Circle. After you use Soul Burn Teleport, you gain 50% extra movement speed for 8 seconds. The next Soul Burn spell is Drain Life. The cast time is reduced by 60%. However, this is bugged in the beta and does not work properly. The next Soul Burn spell is Soul Fire. Soul Fire becomes instant after using Soul Burn. The last Soul Burn spell is Hellstone. After using Soul Burn, using a Hellstone grants you an additional 20% maximum health boost in the same way Warrior's Last Stand works. The last spell we're going to talk about is Soul Harvest. Soul Harvest is the only way to get your Soul Shards back. It has a 30 second cooldown and gives you one Soul Shard and 5% health back every 3 seconds for a total of 9 seconds. It cannot be cast in combat and is a channeled spell. Just remember that any previous spell that used soul shards now does not cost soul shards because soul burn is the only thing that does. However, I do believe that it is a bug in the beta right now that makes enslaved demon use a soul shard still. Once again, this is Snake Slayer from WoW Cataclysm News. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more Cataclysm beta updates and information. Don't forget to visit us at wowcataclysmnews.com.